myself Dr. Sonam Gupta and I am associate professor in the department of computer science and engineering. Today I am going to discuss the topic image sprite. So basically uh, what are image sprites? So sprites are the two dimensional images which are made up of combining smaller images into a single one at defined x and y coordinates. Basically why we are uh, requiring image sprites? Image sprites are required since whenever we will request for some images over the internet then the request will be sent to the server. What the server will do? Server will process all those requests and then will send the response back to the client. Now if there is a single image it is very convenient that we can easily get that particular image. If we are having two images then two requests will be sent to the server and then the response will come at the client side. Similarly, if there are many, uh, many images which are required, so those many number of requests are required to be sent on the server, thereby the server will process all those requests and after processing all those requests, the response will come to the client side. Now what is happening over here is the network over the, tra uh, the traffic over the network is increasing very much. So uh, what is the solution for that? The solution is that instead of sending, suppose for 10 images, so instead of sending 10 requests for those images, we can send a single request at the server for all those 10 images. Now what is required for that uh, particular request? We need to combine all those 10 images into a single image. That is the basic concept behind the uh, image sprite. So for this a web page with many images it can take a lot of time to load and it will generate multiple several server requests. So along with the network traffic there is a probability maybe uh, the client at the client side there may be any attack also that can be happen. So image sprite is useful as the image resources since it has to be used only once. So the images they are required to be used only once. So that is also a good concept for the image sprite. Using image sprite it will reduce the number of server requests and thereby it will be saving the bandwidth as well which I have discussed earlier as well since what is happening instead of sending those many requests for the images now we need to send only a single request for that particular image. So using the CSS background different position part we can have the concept of the image sprite. So what we need to do for the image sprite to make the image sprite successful we need to use the CSS background position a property that we will discuss. Like as we can see in this particular example, this is uh, for showing the flags of the different countries. So first of all, we are declaring this HTML tag. After this HTML, uh, we know that after HTML comes a head tag. So thereby there is a head tag, title tag and in this title tag, we are defining an in internal CSS. So for the internal CSS, this tag which is used is the style tag. So in this style tag, type is equal to text slash CSS. This means that if the browser is not supporting that particular CSS, it will be transferring it to a simple text. Now for the sprite, uh, a, class, a class has been created with a dot symbol, so dot sprite. Here we are using the property of the background CSS. So background URL, that is the uh, particular image URL which needs to be present. So suppose that name is the capture.png. Along with this, the background position, there is a property of no repeat. Now what is this no repeat? No repeat means that the image will be a single image over the web page. That means the image will not be repeated at multiple positions simultaneously. Now we had made the width of the uh, image to be 280 pixel. Similarly, the height is also made to be 200 pixel and the display it is in the inline block. So this is the particular CSS which we have defined for the sprite class. Second one we had defined for the flag one class since we are uh, displaying the flag of the different countries. So let us suppose it is to be flag one. The background position it has been specified at 0 pixel by 0 pixel. Similarly flag two the background position has been specified by minus 255 to 0. We are displaying the flag for the four countries. Okay, So flag three background position minus 510 to 0. Similarly, for flag 4, we are having minus 765 to 0. So what we had done till here, uh, we had made a class, four classes we had made for the CSS. One is sprite where the background image has been loaded, its height and width has been specified. Along with this, the classes for the four flags has been specified and in that the background position of all those flags has been specified. After that, we will come to the body tag. In this body tag, the text line it is the center tag. 
then style tag will be closed that means from uh, that means from this from this style type to this style we are having this particular internal css which has been used then the head tag will be closed and then the body tag will be open now in this body tag we are having the div uh, tag in this div tag we are specifying the heading to be flag image sprite this will be the heading which will be displayed as it is this heading will uh, carry the properties of the h1 tag now we are having another div so class sprite flag1 that means it will have the property of this sprite as well as of this flag1 so this will be combined into a single property secondly the div class for the sprite2 flag2 similarly for the flag3 and for the flag4 and then the body tag will be closed and finally since the html tag has been opened over here it will be closed over here so this is the basic uh, program which we can use for uh, displaying the flag for the four countries now let's see the output for this now this will be the output for this we were having four flags so 1 2 3 4 these will be the four flags which will be there along with this the property is that all those four flags this will be visible in a single image which has been shown over here so this is the way how we can make the image sprite now next example let's see how to create a navigation list what is a navigation list in our example the navigation list will consist of a home page the left button and the right button so this is a program for it similarly uh, the program will be more or less same as we had discussed for the flags so first we are having this html tag the head tag style tag now in this as well the css it is of internal css we are not having the external css for it so in this style tag we are having a navigation list now here we are using this hash now what is this hash early in the earlier example we were using dot dot was the class here we are using hash hash is a id id selector which has been used so for this navigation selector we are having the position relative we are having various types of position like static relative fixed dynamic movable so these are the different positions which we use for the css background positions here we are using the position to be relative relative position means that it will be shifting its position based on its preceding image again here the navigation list li Uh, this is a, another id selector which has been used in this we are having the margin zero padding zero list style none position absolute and the top will be zero that means it will be displayed over the top of the uh, web page at the another thing we are having the navigation list li and the navigation list a these are the top uh, again two id selectors which we will be using the height for this is 44 px and the display will be of the block type so this is the property for the navigation list and the navigation list a again we were having uh, for the navigation list we are having the home image so for this home we are having the id selector hashtag #home in this we are uh, specifying the position the left to be 0 width to be 46 and the background image is to be the background image this is a url of the background image which will be displayed so for the home page like for the home button it will be displayed img_navsprites.gif then uh, we are having the previous and the next button as well so for the previous we are having again this the left width and the background image and the position of this background image that is minus 47 to 0 we are having the next button as well as i had discussed for the navigation we will be having home the next and the previous so for the home we have done for the previous we have done and for the next again the thing will be left position width and the background image then the style tag will be closed so that means this particular block this block will work as a internal css for having the image sprite for the navigation list now after this style tag this head tag will be closed which is open and then we will open this body tag in this body tag we are having the list so ul id is equal to nav list since the id selector has been used the list uh, the id will be home and the reference is to be of the default page that will be visible that means the default web page which will be visible after that the list tag has been closed now after home we will be displaying the previous button so the li id is equal to previous that means now in this uh, previous the property of this id selector will be implemented so the url for this is css_intro.asp that means when we will be clicking on the previous button this css_intro uh, but uh, page will be visible 
for the next similarly list tag will be closed we will open the list for the next and for the next the h uh, h wrap that means the for the anchor tag next page is css underscore syntax dot asp that means for the home page home will be visible that is the default page which is there for the previous css underscore intro page will be visible and when we will be clicking the next that css underscore syntax page will be visible after doing all these codings the list tag will be closed and ul will scroll ul it is the unordered list which is used finally the body tag will be closed and the html tag will be closed so this program it is for creating the image sprite for the navigation list now let's see over its output this will be the output which will be visible this is the home this is the uh, previous and this is next now what will happen when i will be clicking over this home the default page will be visible when i will be clicking this previous then intro tag will intro page will be visible and then when i will be clicking over the next the next page that is css underscore syntax asp page will be visible now this is made sprite is by combining 10 separate images in a single image so this is another example uh, for the image sprite we are having 10 different images for this all these 10 images these are combined into a single image and now what will happen when i will give, give the request for suppose this mozilla image what will happen it will give me the complete 10 images as the output previous if i was not using all these images right what will happen in the previous version for all those 10 images like for the firefox firefox with the background the chrome chrome with the background edge edge again with a, another background then uh, all these for the opera mini and all those navigations what will happen for every image i have to give the request to the server now what will happen over here i do not have to give the uh, request for the every image what i will do i will just call this particular image uh, the image sprite name and all these 10 images will be down downloaded at the client side at a single go so that is the major advantage of the image sprite now uh, what, how we will do for this first we will create the class dot sprite it will load our sprite image and to avoid the repetition to share for the same what we will be using we will be using this no repeat so in the earlier example as well we have uh, we had created that sprite class in that sprite class we will load that image we will load that background image uh, position and to prevent those images to be uh, repeated from itself we will be using this no repeat selector for this like sprite dot sprite since we are creating the class so dot symbol will be there dot sprite background the url will be there and those no repeat so what is this this is the background shorthand notation that has been used over here after that we must define a class for each item that we want to display like i want to display the mozilla firefox for that i will have to create a separate class i have to display the firefox with a background for that as well i need to create a separate class so that means for each and every image a separate class has to be created like for example to display the internet explorer uh, similarly different css will be used like for the dot ie this is for the internet explorer which i had shown the width will be specified height display the background position all these things will be specified right to display any image what is required what will be the height of the image what will be the width of the image from where that particular image will be loaded all these things will be there along with this the background position will be there the shorthand for that uh, can be like i write over here background then i write over here 50 50 inline block and that particular uh, url from where the image will be loaded so that will become a simple shorthand for the background position now this is the uh, major program for this like we had discussed earlier as well the html language is en that means for the english head tag will be there we can have the meta character set that is for the utf8 now again what is this this is the internal style sheet that has to be created that is for the style sheet style has been created this is the background shorthand notation that has been used the url and those no repeat function right after that we are uh, we had created that sprite now what i have to do i have to create the uh, sprites or the css for each and every image that needs to be loaded so again ie that is for the internet explorer i have to create a class so dot ie so dot stands for class selector and since i am creating for ie so i had written the name over here ie in this image again i have to specify what is the width of the image so width of the image it is 50 
what will be the icon height that is again 50 that is up to the user till which he wants to do uh, the height and the width display the displayed icon it will be in the inline block that means for the inline itself the background position or the icon background position it is the sprite so it needs to specify all these things after that this style tag will be closed head tag will be closed and in this body tag we will be calling that particular sprite okay so for that sprite we have class sprite and ie now what is this uh, combining two classes that is a sprite and the ie now what will happen in this span tag it will contain the property of both the sprite as well as of this ie okay so uh, for the next thing if i want to create a sprite for the firefox like yeah, i am having this ie along with this i need to create a sprite for the firefox now what i will do over here i will again make a class like for dot firefox will be there and in this firefox i will be specifying the width approximately how much the width then the height after the height the display will be there this will be the selector for the firefox okay after this fire selector for the firefox i will be calling this in the body tag while calling this in the body tag again with any tag i can call like for the h1 suppose i am calling it and class this will be it will be including both the properties of the sprite as well as of the firefox so class sprite and the firefox will be there so this is the way to create the image sprite this will be the output for this particular program now the clear property specifies what should happen with the image and what will be the for the floating element so the clear property it controls the flow to the floated elements now if i need to write the clear property so for the clear none left right bottom initial inherit these are the properties like for the none it is a default property that means if i had not specified that none will be there for the left the element is pushed below the left floated elements for the right the elements will be pushed right to the floated elements for the both it will be pushed both to the left as well as to the right for the initial it will be set to its default value and for the inherit it will inherit the property from its parent element so this is how the clear property is used the h1 tag is there this is the same program which we had discussed earlier h1 tag is there in this h1 tag we are having the image src bird image for example we are specifying the width and the height then p class is equal to clear so what is this clear uh, it is having clear it is having clear left that means the image will be moving from uh, to left side so this is the clear property bird image the image will be displayed over the left side now if i write over here clear none like in the earlier example it was clear left if i write over here clear none so this is the bird image the bird image it will be displayed over the side of the image so this is means that this is the default property which will be using similarly if i write over here clear right in the same example same thing clear is the uh, property and this clear property if i write over here clear right so what will be the output output will be this is the bird image it will be displayed over here and the image will be displayed over the right side so this is how this clear selection is working over the image sprite so if i want to shift the position of the images in the image sprite i need to specify this clear properties and it is having various uh, attribute selectors and through those attribute selectors the image can be specified thank you